gum, strugglers. We've all chewed it. I think. I don't know. (laughs) I'm actually not much of a gum guy. Never have been. Never will be, no. When I was younger, people were freaking obsessed with gum, and I never quite understood the hype. I mean, I generally get why people chew it, but it was, I'm telling you, it was out of control. Doing secret little deals on the bus. My friend Rachel had a dang gum empire running out of her junior high locker, for goodness sake. There have also been a surprising number of what I would consider iconic gum commercials in just my lifetime, which is, I mean, extraordinarily random, but... I, yeah, it's cool, I guess. Why did this gum commercial make me cry? What were they doing when they... Who, why? How dare they do this to me? This is how it feels to chew five gum. You get the, all the crazy stuff going on. I actually used to think that the Chris Brown double mint gum commercial was the reason that the song Forever was made. Like, that was a little piece of trivia I would tell people. <laughs> I was like, uh, fun fact, do you know the song Forever, the wildly popular hit single by Chris Brown? It was actually made for a gum commercial originally. Okay, I just looked into it and I was actually right all along. This piece of trivia that I basically made up as a kid was right. (laughs) Trust your gut, guys. You gotta trust your gut. Who are you calling cootie queen, you lint liquor? Come on, it's too good. Does anyone else even remember these or am I just... Am I, am I, is it just me? Well, regardless of that, I am fascinated by the gum industry, okay? Lots of claims floating around out there in this space. Like Extra claims to be long lasting. (laughs) Don't we all? The world record for biggest bubble blown was by this guy, Chad, and it was done with double bubble. Yeah, you heard me right, double bubble. The stuff they pass out by the truckload at every single parade alongside Rock hard Tootsie Rolls, chewing gum, bubble gum, the fun, silly stuff in between. We're going over all of it today. I'm buying up a bunch of gum and we're gonna see who reigns supreme. It's good to be back, baby. You know, sometimes we send that one up to headquarters for no reason. So we're gonna go over bubble gum, we're gonna go over the more unique fun stuff, but chewing gum is really like, this is the base. This is the backbone of America, This the <laughs> chewing gum is. I got as many different brands as I thought were appropriate for a YouTube video that isn't supposed to be like six hours long. And every single one of them, I just went with spearmint flavor. I didn't want there to be any variation in that, so these are all just spearmint gum, the common ones that you can find everywhere. So I wanna judge them on a few different things. I want to judge them on just like the way that I think they taste. Are they any good? I want to judge them on how long does the flavor actually last? And then I want to judge it on, does it make my my breath feel minty fresh? Can I skip brushing my teeth today? No particular order here, but I suppose I'll just start with Wrigley's Spearmint. All right, I got the stopwatch here. Looks nice. Can I do the product review thing? Like I'm showing off some makeup. Mmm, smells like spearmint. Ready and go. Mmm, kind of hard, broke into multiple pieces, like it's sh- it shattered like glass. But honestly, this is a delicious flavor, I'm into this. I think there's gonna be a lot of dead air while I just chew until the flavor goes away. It's, I think we're getting to the end here. A few more chews and it'll be gone. Yeah, we'll stop that. 309. Not bad. So you could obviously, you could chew this for way longer than this, but it's not like giving me new stuff now. I think it's just what's in my mouth is still sloshing around a little bit, but there's no new flavor coming out of the gum. 309, pretty respectable time, I think. I don't know. I really don't, I'm not much of a gum guy. They're gonna be taking a shot every time I say, I'm not much of a gum guy. And people are gonna be dropping like flies. It definitely made my breath feel fresh. It made my mouth feel Good. <laughs> all right, yeah, it checks off all the boxes of gum. Now let's reset the mouth. Whoa. Now that is garlicky and, and very ranchy. Let's we'll just move right along the line here because this we had the Wrigley's original, but now let's do Wrigley's Double Mint. The Chris Brown gum, I gotta say. That smells, <laughs> wow. That smells intense. It smells like a Christmas decoration. I mean, it's like double the mint. I feel like you could double your pleasure and double your fun. Same packaging as before. This is white now. Here we go. It doesn't taste like there's double the mint, but it is a distinctly different flavor. And I like this better. It also chews different. It's more like fleshy. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's kind of got like a, like you're biting through somebody's leg or something. Dude, on my enjoyment level, I would bump this above. It's starting to taste a little dead. And we're right on the same timeline. Yeah. 
326. Hmm, so I don't really know what the, what were they going for with this? It's Wrigley's Spearmint and then Wrigley's Double Mint. One might be led to believe that there would be either double intensity of like the mint flavor or it would last twice as long maybe. In my opinion, neither of those are the case. So I don't, I guess it's just double the pleasure. And I'm okay with that, I agree with that. It was double the pleasure. Just in my general opinion, I would rank that above the original. End on five because it might send me to the freaking moon. <laughs> Trident next. This is a very popular gum. They're all very popular. That's why I have them. Uh, this one says it is less than five calories. So if you're watching your figure. Oh, I also wanna say, I do not have stride gum, which is like the gum that I think of when I think of chewing gum. Stride has always come to mind. The Sean White stride flavor was the one that Rachel would always deal out of her locker. I looked for it. Apparently it's like discontinued. They still sell it on Amazon, I think, maybe. The reviews are a little bit sketch. R.I.P. You know, I'm not much of a gum guy, but R.I.P. to Stride, you know, it's sad to see them go. Anyway, let's pop this Trident. First of all, noticeably cooler packaging. Look at that, folds down like a wallet. The other ones were a big old flat stick. Now this is a short little chubby stick. And there we go. Ooh. Whoa. Mmm, this feels like my mouth is leaking all over itself. It's juicy. My mouth is like a wet cave. Mmm, flavor in this one is good. You know, if you get something that's like jalapeno flavor or barbecue flavor, every one of them is a little bit different, obviously. No different with the spearmint gum. These all have their own little quirks. This one's got more of a kind of a vanilla flavor to it, which I really dig. Helps prevent cavities when chewed for 20 minutes after eating. How so? Gets the gunk out of your molars maybe? Now not every package claims to be long lasting, but this one does. This one does claim to be refreshingly long lasting. Coming up on three minutes, still flavor seeping out of this bad boy. It's a smaller piece though. The double mint was a big thick wad of gum. And this is just a little guy, but it seems to have longer lasting flavor, which is interesting. What's the technology there? You know, what are they hiding from us? This is, cr we're cruising through this. It's still all kinds of flavor coming out. Also, my mouth is ice cold right now. This just looks like, I mean, this is, this looks dentist recommended. Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. I'm afraid this is gonna last all day. We're over five minutes now. The other one that I have high hopes for, for lasting for a very long time, is this Eclipse stuff. They are also Wrigley's. Wrigley's owns every gum ever. Except for Trident. They don't own Trident. They haven't gotten their grubby little fingers on them yet. <sighs> this is that Willy Wonka gum. That gum that lasts all day. All right. I think it's time to call it 806. Good grief. What an absolute just slam dunk on the other two. My mouth feels intensely fresh. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Also, the flavor was my favorite so far. It is a little bit small. The piece is a little small. I feel like I want to just chomp it like <laughs> but I'm a little worried that I'm going to hurt my teeth if I chomp too hard. All that being said though, still my favorite out of the three so far. Put it on top. Trident has one that's just called original flavor. Like I'm going spearmint with all these, but it says Original flavor. I don't, what, what is that? It smells like some kind of mint. I'm gonna save this for later. We're gonna find out what this is together later. Okay, let's do this Eclipse next. These are um, hard pellets. Okay, now this one says serving size is two pieces though. So I guess I'm gonna have to do two of these just to be fair to everybody else and go. Mm. Mm. <coughs> that was the least pleasing like entry. Oh, it's so grainy. Yeah, he doesn't like it either. Ugh. It's all gritty. I'm hate, I'm, you know, I'm hating it. I'm hating it. It's the worst so far. It is kind of stinging my throat a little bit. It's really tense in the back, up front. Not a lot going on though. Does any of this make sense? <laughs> We're losing flavor. We're losing flavor, folks, and we're just crossing the two minute mark. I did two, I popped two of these things. To say I'm disappointed is an understatement. 224? The other one that I have high hopes for for lasting for a very long time is this Eclipse stuff. And I didn't even like the, the taste or the texture or anything. What the heck? Not a big fan of the Eclipse. Twilight fans be like, let's go Orbit. You know, I got a dirty mouth. Let's clean it up with Orbit. Now for an even cleaner feeling. Accor it's for why? <laughs> According to who? It's Wrigley's again, you son of a gun. Wrigley's almost has a monopoly on the gum industry. 
Why is nobody talking about this? Are we actually exposing the gum industry this time? It's not just a joke. These used to get passed out at school too. You pop this bad boy out, bang, bang, boom. Orbit is Jaden's gum. Also, I saw this in the cupboard. There's freaking Orbit in our in our cupboard. It's sweet mint, because that's sweet the mint. superior gum. We'll have to check this one out later as well. We'll save this one for later with the Trident Original. God, my mouth is so garlicky right now. <laughs> Let's clean it up with Orbit. Now this one does taste clean. This tastes more like toothpaste than gum. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. Their whole thing is being clean. A clean mouth. So I think that's a good thing. Flavor-wise, it's somewhere between double mint and the regular Reg Wrigley's Spearmint. All right, we're empty. 318. Right, that's about as average of a gum experience as I could ask for. And I'm not really asking for much, you know? Let's do extra. I have a feeling this one is gonna last really long because it says that it's long-lasting flavor right on the box. And they would never lie to me. That's a stick of gum, y'all. That is a stick of gum. If somebody told you to draw a stick of gum, this is what I would draw. Mm. That's a lot of gum. That piece had a lot of gum in it. <laughs> oh, big smile, hi. Just watching dad at work. 332, long lasting flavor. More like just medium, normal, average lasting flavor. How much did I like it though? Let's put it right under orbit. The flavor is a little more subtle. It's a little nicer of a flavor. So maybe they're, they're good for different things, extra and Orbit. Orbit makes you feel nice and fresh. And this is just more of a pleasant chew. You know what I'm saying? So what do I, where are my priorities at? I, I'm not a gum guy. <laughs> I want it to make my mouth feel clean and I want it to make my breath smell good. So I, I'd prefer Orbit over this. Let's do these icebreakers cubes. I didn't even want to buy this, but I kept seeing it everywhere. Every gas station I went into, every grocery store, all the websites I was shopping on, this was like the first one that popped up. I don't know if icebreakers is doing a really good SEO in the gas station. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm peeling the entire label off. That's good. And now it's just a naked white container. So weird packaging. There's a perforated line. I'm supposed to just tear that. Just the top off, but I ripped the whole thing. So now we just got this sticker. That's fine. It says the serving size is just one cube. It's already kind of soft, actually. I figured it'd be like a hard cube. I don't think this is gonna last very long. We'll try it out. Oh. Mmm. Oh. <clears throat> What's happening? There's like little crystals in there. My mouth feels ice cold right now. Feels like I took this out of the freezer. Well, now this is fun. Mmm. Oh, it's got great chomp to it. It's like that fleshy feel from before, but even it's like I'm chewing on somebody's tongue. <laughs> I wanna chew right through it. You know, I don't wanna chew on it. I wanna chew through it. Oh, now it's getting kind of a bad taste though. It's kind of tasting chemically now. I've gone through a lot of emotions in the last 60 seconds. Okay, 133 and the flavor is gone. But I would continue to chew on this because it's got that weird like, it's all about the texture is really fun. It was an interesting experience and there's so many in here, there's 40. So you can just keep popping these, you know? All right. The one we've all been waiting for, five gum. This is not even a gum, this is an experience. This is your ticket to a new world, okay? How dare they even call this gum? This is so much more than that. Now, five gum enthusiasts might be thinking, Scott, why didn't you get the cobalt flavor? That's the best one. And I, to that I say, what are you even talking about? They're all supposed to be spearmint. That's why, pop that open. Look at that green, look at that. Oh, the emerald green packaging. Now folks, look at that. Would you look at that? Is this Wrigley too? It is. Oh, they're all Wrigley's. <laughs> what in the world? I'm ready to be shot directly into outer space. Let's do this. Mm. Oh, tastes like mouthwash. <laughs> oh, worst flavor. Worst flavor by a long shot. It's my memory serves me right. Also, Five gum doesn't last very long. It just smells like a dirty mint. A <laughs> dirty mint. Yeah, that's how I would describe the no. people that I saw buying it at the <laughs> gas station too. Your mom loves five gum. She does? Yeah, she chews on airplanes. Does she also drink monster energy? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, mom? 255, just short of three minutes. You couldn't even make it to five? Really, five? What even does that mean? What's the, what does the five mean? I've never, th what, what does the five mean? I might look that up. So I did look it up and Wikipedia seems to think that it's hinting at the five senses. So that's, yeah, that's pretty interesting. If true. Well, I did not enjoy that experience. It was an experience, but I did not enjoy it. Yeah, that was the second worst one in my opinion. I wanna line these up by 
favorite to least favorite, with my favorite being over here and my least favorite being over here. Tried it, lasted by far the longest, had a really nice flavor, made me feel real clean, I appreciate you. These were just whatever. But now let's line them up by how long they lasted, with the worst being over here. So that's what that looks like. Um, not quite a correlation between which ones I liked the most and which ones I didn't. It's a little bit more random. So, you know, do with that information what you will. Um, I'm glad I could provide this service to you. Let's look at some other gum. I'm sick of spearmint. Baby, don't blow it. This one's pretty straightforward. Which gum blows the best bubble? Let's, let's find out. So we just start with the, the goat. The worst gum of all time. Here's a little fun fact for you. This was the first bubble gum company that kind of started the whole they started bubblegum. Sorry if we're doing a little like whispery ASMR. There's a baby sleeping in the other room, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and don't inhale that one. What is that? That's the mm. most artificial smell I've ever smelled. Pick your poison. Which one are you feeling good about here? There's a science to this. Okay. <laughs> you don't want one that's like perfectly formed because it's gonna be really hard and not good to chew. Okay. I'm just gonna grab the first one my hands find. It's good. Mm-hmm. Like bubblegummy flavor. Usually when you chew though, it softens over time. This has not changed. It's still that same firmness. <laughs> wow. Mm. Could've been better. Okay. I'm not having much success with this gum. This is what the world record was blown with. They said two pieces of double bubble. How long did they chew it? They never said. <laughs> Not impressed, honestly. What would you rank that? What, one to five. <gasps> two. Two, I think so. I actually came back to this gum a couple of days later and chewed it for longer before I tried blowing the bubbles and the bubbles were better, but good grief, is this the stickiest gum ever made? I would never even try to use this. It's so awfully oh sticky. <laughs> No. I'm gonna go back in time a little bit. Bazooka bubble gum. Do you even know what this is? No, I've never had it. I heard a little song once and it goes, I want some bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. And I don't know if that was just something somebody said once or if that was a commercial or... Apparently it was a song by these guys, but I'm absolutely certain that I have never heard this before. I bought some bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. Bazooka, zooka, bubble gum. What I think is more likely is that this was a pretty common like summer camp chant as demonstrated by these fellas. But I ain't buy no pickle. But I ain't buy no pickle. Instead, I bought some bubblegum. Bazooka, zooka, bubblegum. All right, I won't make you watch any more of that, but even though I never went to summer camp myself, I'm sure somebody in my life at some point had done that and heard this song at camp and it's just been stuck in my head because they repeated it. So now that we've gotten to the bottom of that mystery, <laughs> look, it's retro, kind of a cool. That's fun. An old timey vibe. This is an, another really old company. These are bigger pieces than I anticipated. This is fun. Yeah, where do you, how do you access this? Oh, there's something in there. A little prize. What? Bazooka Joe and his gang. <laughs> there's a comic strip inside. What? The comics is a fun little, it's a fun little thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. It tastes bad. It's hurting my teeth. It hurts my jaw. It hurts my teeth. My teeth are like sharp pain. <laughs> Do you need a little water to moisten it up? I don't know what it hurts. It's like my molars are going ching, ching, ching. <laughs> Needless to say, I will not be eating this again. The flavor is somehow worse than double bubble. <laughs> double bubble. All right, I'm making an attempt. <laughs> Jump the gun again. Wow. That was a respectable bubble. Oh, but that stuck to my lip. Yeah, ooh, sticky. Sticky bubble gum is the worst. <laughs> ooh. I'm not gonna give it anything higher than a two and a half. Flavor was terrible. The texture was so hard and crunchy. You know, you've convinced me to go down to a three. Three out of and five. Just like, I'm not enjoying it. It blows pretty decent bubbles though. Yeah, but the it's, chew is too hard. Getting to that point is so unenjoyable. Yeah, it's not good. The bubble yum is what I had at Halloween and that blows bomb bubbles. Jaden used this for her uh, Violet Beauregard costume. Now that's a big chunk of bubble gum. Ooh. Good? Soft. Oh, so soft. Mm. It's like a marshmallow. You don't have to work for this one. No, sir. This is way better than the other two already. Mm. 
Oh, oh, it ripped a little bit. Yeah. Am I good at blowing bubbles all of a sudden? Am I a bubble blowing baby? Uh oh. That was good. This is a four out of five. Come on, are you kidding me? Yeah. Easy four out of five. Four and a half. That is bubble yum. Am I right? Let's have a little fun. Huh? Let's get a little weird. Big league chew. Now my friend Braden used to buy this and he would chew it in the dugout. He did the grape stuff though. Yeah. Not a fan of the grape stuff. You and your dad, you stop at the gas station, you go inside, he's like, you can grab one thing. Do you want the Funyuns? I'm having a hard time. Oh, you go all the way down. I thought it had a little Ziploc thing. <laughs> this looks this. like spaghetti. And this is the tricky part because you're- How much do you How take? much do you take? Yeah, what's a fair amount? A little pinch? Yeah, a little pinch. A pinch will do ya. Just a, just a pinch will do ya. <laughs> and there you go. Of course he will. You get out there and you rip dingers. It's a good day to have a day. <laughs> I think it feels so thin. It feels so thin, but I feel like it's gonna blow some sick bubbles. Big boy. Oh. <laughs> what was that? What that? Scare you right off. Right out of the batter box. <laughs> Shark. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, it chews nice. It's not exhausting. Hurt. This is pretty okay. I mean, in terms of bubble gum, it's fine, but it's just so fun. I'll give it a four. All right, fair enough. This is it. But just by looking at this, I feel like this is gonna be, this is gonna be the one. This feels like something you open on the bus and you slide, oh. slide to the cutie sitting next to you. Say, you want, here's a, you want a Hubba Bubba Max? I got a Hubba Bubba Max. <laughs> oh, it's very sticky. I'm very soft. It's sticky to the touch. The other ones are all chalky. This one's oh. sticky. Are you, this is the best chew. All right, the chew on this is immaculate, great flavor, great aroma. Every, all around, this is an incredible product. And use my code, Scott10, to get, <laughs> there's a lot of gum. This is the most, most gum so far. Oh. Whoa, how about my max? Five out of five. 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 Still holding his flavor too, actually. Look at you go. And with that, I think it's time to move on, folks. Gum is fum. Not everything has to be so serious all the time. Okay, guys, sometimes you can just let loose and, uh, and enjoy yourself. So that's what I'm gonna try to do now. I've gathered some fun gums and we're just gonna, we're just gonna have a good time. I was originally gonna include Big League Chew in the fun gum section because this is really fun. I mean, come on, are you kidding me? But since we did this for the bubble gum part, we'll just, we'll let that ride. But everything else on this table is fair game. So I, you know what, I actually wanna start with this one. This is Trident Layers. Now this was a fun little idea that Trident had where they said, what if, Layers, and I think it worked out pretty well for them. What a wild smell. There's so much fruit going on here. So the gimmick with this was that in the commercials, people were like willing to get paid in gum instead of money because the gum was so good. So I'd like to find out if I would be willing to be paid in, in gum. Let's just see those layers real quick. You seeing those layers? Are, I mean, are you seeing them? Look at those. Very distinct. Let's just chow down. Oh, it's a little tough. But the flavor is fun. It's actually quite sour. Oh man, it is very sour. Now Trident Layers is interesting because I was led to believe this was also discontinued. I was looking into it, I was trying to find it online. Kind of weird cryptic messaging from the company. And this was the only flavor that I could find anywhere. I found it at a gas station. Their social media team is trying to do that thing where they're like pretending to be a person instead of a brand, which drives me up a wall. But the gum itself is fun, regardless of how cringe their marketing department is. This is a fun gum that does not last very long. It's already losing, It's the flavor is gone. <laughs> I've been talking for maybe a minute and the flavor is gone. Especially considering that the Trident Spearmint was the longest lasting flavor by far. They really just phoned it in with their layers, huh? It's a fun gum. I would be willing to get paid in Trident layers instead of money. YouTube, go ahead and just start sending me this instead. Let's dive into a childhood favorite of mine. This is something that I was always kind of drawn to. You know I'm checking out the Hubba Bubba Bubba tape. 
Hubba bubba bubba tape? Hubba bubba bubble tape. You know I'm checking this out. And by checking it out, I mean I'm looking at it. I'm not actually purchasing it. Um, I don't know if my mom ever let me. She knew darn well I was gonna take one little bite of this and then just throw it away. What a waste. Six feet of fun. Let's find out. Here we go, this is iconic. Oh. <laughs> now that's fun. Look at this thing. Let's just, I'm gonna sacrilege, I'm gonna take the whole thing out. I wanna just bite it. Would that drive you nuts if I just bit it? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, I'm not a psycho. I'm gonna do it the way God intended. I'm gonna pull it out, and then I'm gonna chop it like this. You see that? <laughs> I'm having fun. Now let's take this little piece and let's chew on it. This is hubba bubba, so, I mean, it's very, I know the flavor. Again, I know I've said this more times than I ever expected to. Feels like I'm chewing on flesh, <laughs> and I like it. Now this is bubble gum, so do I just take a ton of it and try to beat the world record? Guinness, are you watching? Pay attention. Is this enough, you think? Is this world record worthy? There's a lot of gum in my mouth right now. I'm sorry to anybody that like has a, an aversion to hearing people chew. This video has probably been very difficult for you. And I appreciate you sticking it out. I feel like I could just chomp on this all day. Wow. Wrigley's, you son of a... It's always Wrigley's. I expected this to just be total crap, honestly. I'm loving this. All right, let's blow a bubble. How disappointing. Uh, yeah, it might be because I took so much, but man, this is fun. Takes me right back, uh, 10 out of 10. Absolutely love it. Am I rating them now? I haven't been rating them all day. Very cool. And it tastes incredible. Okay, now the question is, do I want to be in pain or not? Let's be in pain for a little bit. Let's torture ourselves. I'm Ricky Bobby. If you don't chew big red, then you. This is a gum that I may have had once in my entire life. Oh, this is so strong. I hate, I don't like cinnamon stuff. Now, I don't know if this was a thing everywhere. It probably was on a show or something. People at my school used to chew this and then like stick it to their face, stick it to their neck or whatever, and it would just leave a mark and it'd look like a hickey or, or something. Wrigley's again. I don't really have much memory of ever chewing this. I may have had it once before. We'll see if it's fun. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Hmm. Yeah, it is, it is quite tingly. You know, I thought this was meant to kind of be like spicy in a way, like uncomfortable, but it's not. I was under the impression that this was gonna be, this was gonna suck. It's actually not bad. It's quite good, but is it fun? I don't know, it's just cinnamon flavor. But you know, we're having fun today. This is all about having fun, so yes it is. It is fun, you hater. I don't wanna stick it to my face. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna stain my skin for no reason. Speaking of stain my skin for no reason, let's do the next one. Now guys, this is a part of childhood that I missed out on completely. People talk about Fruit Stripes gum, this little zebra fellow. People talk about this like it's the most fun thing on the whole planet. I never experienced this. I didn't even know it was a thing as a kid. You know, it's just kind of fruit gum, but there's a tattoo in there. So we're gonna, we're gonna tap myself up today. Oh, now <laughs> that smells fun. Are these five different flavors? I figured they were all just the same. Like how Skittles are all the same. Is that the one? Maybe I'm thinking of Fruit Loops. Regardless. Well, if they're all different, which one should I pull out? I mean, I'm team yellow through and through, so I guess I'll just take the yellow one. Maybe it's like a lemon. It's not really about the flavor. You know, it's about the tat, and we're gonna, we're gonna get that. It, they all smell the same. I think we've been bamboozled. Okay guys, I think we were tricked. I'm seeing a little a little picture of a guy, a little zebra playing basketball. So that's fun, we're gonna have a little basketball zebra tattoo. I love that. Let's try the gum first, how's this taste? It's definitely lemon. It's a little soapy, I kinda wish I had picked a different flavor. It's not about that, it's about the tat. Moisten skin lightly, place tattoo color side down, press firmly for 15 seconds, do not rub, and then peel off slowly. Let's put it opposite my real tattoo. This is moisten my skin. Just like the real thing. Here we go, moment of truth. <laughs> Can you even see it? <laughs> what do you think, huh? Pretty slick. Well, that's fun. There's no denying that that's fun. It's good enough. It's a gum wrapper temporary tattoo. It's plenty good enough. This is fantastic. Now, the one thing I definitely knew about this gum is that people always complain about how it has the shortest 
life ever. It's just the flavor runs out so quickly. And those people are right. <laughs> I'm just chewing on a ball of glue it tastes like now. Juicy fruit, Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. What a shock. Oh, so surprising. Who saw that coming? Another thing that I never really experienced. Isn't that weird? Something about this gives me like, Nickelodeon vibes, Cartoon Network vibes, you know? It's the, it's the cool kid vibes. Juicy fruit is the gum that the cool kids chew, okay? And you can't sit with us if you don't have a pack of this. It smells fantastic. It's like a nice banana. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be fun and it's gonna be good. Two thumbs up. What a flavor. I don't even know how to describe this. It's like banana bubble gum good, good stuff. <laughs> is this one of those secrets? Nobody really knows the flavor of this. Is this like Dr. Pepper, where it's a bunch of stuff? Is there a mystery to be solved here with the juicy fruit gum? Another very short lasting gum. <laughs> the flavor comes and goes, but the memories we made will last a lifetime. Yeah, I'm keeping this around. If you ever need just a little sweet treat, I like the juicy fruit. What can I say? All right. It's time, the gumball machine. Now look at this bad boy, isn't this, this, this is the definition of fun. So here's the thing, I bought these two things separately. I bought the gumballs and I bought the machine, two separate things. So when they showed up, I had to put the gumballs into the machine, which I did very clearly. Once the gumballs were in there and I had it all sealed back up, I realized um, I can't get them out. You need quarters. I thought this was just something that you have in your home is a fun little trinket and they don't actually require quarters. It does, it absolutely does. Capitalism is strong in this one. There were instructions on how to turn that feature off, but I had already put the gumballs in and it's you gotta take the whole thing apart to do that. So I'm just gonna put the quarters in. Quarter. Oh, there we go. We got one. An orange one, this color I wanted the least, to be honest, but you know. Mm. Oh, ah, rock hard. I can't tell if my brain is playing tricks on me. That tasted orange. The gumballs that I bought are just double bubble, the same as like the parade ones, those little yellow guys, but that tasted orange. You know what? We got more quarters. Let's try another one. Ah, purple, let's see. This taste orange. Ah, that's grape. They are flavored. That puts this over the top. It was already fun. You got the machine, put a little quarter in, crank that thing. I'm on cloud nine right now. The most fun I've had with a gum. <laughs> I had a great time. I hope you did too. Let's wrap this up, huh? My jaw's getting sore. Chew the gum with your mouth closed, all right? You look so unnatural doing it. It's cool, it's friendly, it's Don't chill. bob your head, it's not friendly. What's friendly about it? Okay. Uh, Thanks for watching that one, guys. This series is very odd because one of them turned into like a legitimate, very in-depth and long review, and the other two are just complete chaos. So I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Now, I did promise that we were gonna try these two flavors, so we will do that now. We'll start with the one that's already open. This is Jaden's favorite, apparently, Orbit Sweet Mint. My jaw is starting to click. It's been a long day. Now, I get why she would like this, but I don't think it's for me. Again, it's really toothpastey. That Orbit, Orbit really has a strong toothpaste flavor. Now let's try this Trident original flavor. What could this be? Some kind of mint. It smells like some kind of mint. <laughs> nah. Whoa. Ooh, that is an intense mint flavor. Yeah, it's like mint, like a mouthwash. Not a fan of that one either, huh? There are so many gums. Oh, the gum that I like the most, you didn't try the one that I like. There's just too many gums. Razzles are technically gum. Blow pops are technically gum. Nicotine gum. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you understand me not wanting to chew 700 different types of gum. I did, I did the best I could. Extra thank you to my patrons. Those listed here are in the top tier. Guys, shoot me a message. I got lots of gum to give out. So if you want any gum, let me know. All right, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye. Double your pleasure.
Double your fun, it's the right one with double me gum. <laughs>